So I'm going to show you how to fix your Electrolux dryer that is leaking water at the front here. So if you ever see your Electrolux dryer leaking water here, I'll be showing you how to fix that issue. Yours might look different to this one, but the issues that come up with that are usually the same. So first thing you need to do is open the door and just check around the seal here. Make sure there's no fluff there and around this door, make sure there's no fluff there that can prevent um, this from sealing properly because that can cause it to start leaking. The other thing you want to do is open this. So this opens up, you just push this tab forward and with that you'll be able to access that bottom compartment which is where your water condensates. So over here you can take off this flap by unlocking this. So locked is that position, but if you flip it that other way, it comes off like that. And then you can have a look over here. Now have a look, mine, there's a lot of water there. And that's why that water just starts seeping out. There shouldn't be water there. It should be able to drain as it gathers there. So the problem there, what usually happens is there's a filter and that filter there, here, there's a passage in there and that goes all the way to the drain pump at the back. Now we're gonna need to access the pump at the back, but the idea here is you're gonna get a high pressure hose and with that, you're gonna hose, make sure you unplug it from power and then we're gonna hose in there. Put the high pressure hose in there and clean out any dirt that's preventing all that water from being drained out properly. Now the back here, we're gonna need a T20 screwdriver. So you're gonna take off this cover and it just comes off like that. It just comes off. And with that, make sure you've got all this disconnected I'm going to tuck these wires away, make sure water doesn't get to them as we clean this up. This over here is your drain pump and that's your water level um, sensor. So you're going to need to disconnect all this. So. To get it off, you also need to do a T20 bolt that's holding it down and that comes off. Now there will be two hoses here, one and two. One goes to the reservoir and one is for taking water in. So. There you go, this is it, this is the whole mechanism. And I'm gonna show you over here how much dirt will be in these things. If you have a look at that, that's not really clean. And it's not gonna drain properly if it's got that. To clean that and make sure that all that dirt is gone. I'm gonna use a high power hose and I'm gonna spray it at the front. And as I spray it at the front, all this dirt is gonna come through the back and will be going out. So you gotta clean in there. Ooh. Got all that clean. Then make sure you check this as well. Check your floater because this floater is what tells it the level if it's full or not. And if it's clogged up, it'll just stick and won't be able to tell the board that it's got a lot of uh, water in it. So make sure you clean it nicely. And then we're gonna put it back.
and make sure you've got all the hoses back in. This one is the reservoir drain and this one is the reservoir feed. So you gotta put them back in there like so. And just make sure that these are dry before you put them back in. Your cables, plug it all back in. So if yours is not draining properly, sometimes the issue is with the pump itself. So an easy way to check the pump to make sure it works is to uh, remove the cover at the top here and then remove the reservoir and then just pour water in here while it's running. That water, that pump's supposed to pump out the water. If it's not pumping it out, it means that it's got a fault. But usually it gives you an error code if it's not able to drain. Let's see if the fix worked and that, that should fix it because usually there's this build off of lint in the drain there and remember to put back the cover as well. So I take off the two screws at the back. One will be over here, the other one will be on the other side. And after I'm done with that, there's one more that's at the front that's holding it. I'm gonna do that just to check, make sure that the pump's pumping out properly. The front inside there, there's that screw that needs to come off. I usually just take that off and that will help you to take off this top cover. Once you've got that off, you slide the cover back and it comes off. Now, you don't need to have the reservoir in. I've already taken it out. All I'm gonna test is I'm gonna get some water, maybe in a two liter container, plug this thing back in and then start a cycle. What I do then is I turn it on and I'll just start a cycle. And I'm gonna put water in it. want to see is see that water that's coming out that means the drain is working the pump is working so that means everything's okay now it's nice and clear and it's not clogged up so that's good that's what you want to see it doing if it's not doing that then that means something's wrong with that drain pump so make sure you fix it and if you need a part for the drain pump you can buy a part off eBay and usually the model number is on the corner here EDH 3786GW just google on YouTube and you get the model uh, just say Electrolux EDH whatever um, drain pump and you buy one and replace it that should fix your draining faults or draining issues but for me from now 
mine's working it's not going to clog up anymore if you have any issues or any questions be sure to reach out leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll get back to you thanks for tuning in i'll see you on the next one